All right, so this is the before. Fujitsu splitty. Quite goes up here. We're gonna replace that with a Dakin multi. Then we're gonna add another head over there. So we're just pumping it down, get rid of it. And then we're gonna put the new one on brackets with an isolator. This one doesn't have isolator, doesn't have anything. So we'll make it better. All right, so I've just taken trunking off and that suction pipe looks pretty sus. Oh, that suction flare nut looks pretty suspect. Pretty oily. Core hole's not sealed. Another quality install. Um, so the plan is that they actually want to reuse this Fujitsu unit for a room up there, but sort that out later. Not his first rodeo. Sweet. up on brackets just reutilize the old trunking I'm um, sorry about the wind yeah reutilize the old trunking but just cleaned it up yeah, basically changed the interconnect cable new pipe work like new line set put an isolator in um, nice neat bend straight on so Basically this will be like it goes something like that. Nice and neat. So Tom's gonna do that now. I'm just gonna cut them short. But I reckon that's way better than just sitting on the ground. It's a double brick wall, so that's what we do. That's done, all good. So that obviously does the lounge room. We've added a second indoor unit into the master bedroom. It's gonna come across, utilize this trunking 
and then across to the same condenser. Um, this is for a different part of the house that is actually redundant now. So we're going to pump this down, get rid of all that line set. That's a Dakin that still works perfectly fine, runs on R22, but it's just redundant now. Basically, I'm um, going to get rid of that so then I can run some new line set for this multi. I'm going to pump that down now. Alright, so we just put that trunking up, pump this thing down, taking the pipe out, and taking that last like vertical piece down because I'm going to do an angle now and meet these two. So. New trunking, 90 up, and just utilize that last bit. Is my electric screwdriver over there? Reversal? Yeah. yeah. Careful with that one, man. Thanks, Chief. Right. It's got a bit of torque. It's got a bit of torque, yeah, it might break <laughs> my wrist. So we've got to clean up here, but that's been removed. Basically, there was a bit of trunking going down. I've removed that, utilized the vertical piece. I've just tapped into it, come down. I've done a 90, go straight across to the unit. So both bits of pipe go straight on. Isolator's there. And yeah, just go straight across. And up. It's the Dakin multi light. Currently, we just have the living room on. We had them both on, but just swapping it around. Anyway, that's what it looks like.
So just picking up all the stuff for next week, or I think it's actually the week after. But um, underfloor ducted, it's the R32 one that's actually designed for underfloors, which I'll make a video on, but I love that that's Australian made. All the sensors made in Australia. Sensor kit made in Australia. That's what we like to see.